Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this Photoshop tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a very new feature in Adobe Photoshop CC 2015 and that is the Face Aware Liquify tool. This is a really great tool for manipulating parts of the face automatically without uh, you having to do anything really. Uh, you, the Photoshop detects all the facial features and allows you to uh, freely move them around and, and change them and, and change the scale and all that kind of fun stuff. So let's go ahead and jump in here I'll show you how to do it. So the first thing you're going to do is just open up a, a photo. I found this one on the web, and uh, this is where I'm going to manipulate some of this uh, this woman's facial features here. The way you do that is to go to the liquify menu, and that is in the filter tool, and then you go to liquify. Now, if you, you're familiar with the liquify menu before, most of it has not changed. All your favorite features are over here, but you can see on the right side, uh, you have a face aware liquify section and then this is where Photoshop has detected all the facial features on here and will allow you to uh, move them around really easily. So uh, you can either uh, go over to the face and see these little nodes and change them like that or you can uh, go over here to the slider menu and start messing with the sliders. So uh, let's say uh, eye size, I can increase that by just dragging the slider up and you can see the eyes getting bigger or I can make them smaller. Uh, same thing with the height, the width, tilt, all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, but the way I like to do it really is just get in here and uh, play with the nodes a little bit. So let's say with the eyes again, I can make them wider just by pulling that one there. And you can see all the pixels around the face are kind of blending in together, making it really realistic, really easy. So just for this tutorial, I'm going to increase the eyes a little bit. I probably will exaggerate some of these just so you can kind of see the before and after. Uh, but I'm going to pull down the nose, kind of like that. Maybe uh, decrease it a little bit, make it a little more narrow. Uh, the, the mouth is a fun one because you can actually make them frown or smile. Uh, there's a slider on here and you can just drag up like that and you can see you kind of smile a little bit or you can make her kind of sad like just like that. So it's kind of fun. I'm going to make her sad though. Uh, for the mouth, we can uh, make it narrow. We can make the chin longer there. Uh, you can pull the forehead down, the, or the hairline at least. Kind of pull it down like that. Give her a real serious look. Just kind of like that. So that's basically the uh, the the fun stuff of there. So uh, I like the way that looks. So I'm just going to click OK. And so that is the uh, facial features that I have manipulated. So here's the before, and then here's the after. So you can see how easy that was just to uh, play around with the features. And this is a really fun tool to uh, to mess around with uh, just to, just to play or to uh, really use on portrait shoots if you want to kind of mess around and, and, and contour facing uh, facial features and just make your client look really good. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that quick tutorial. Head on over to sleeklens.com for more photography-related blogs, videos, articles, all that kind of fun stuff. And I'll see you in the next video.